Greetings, Zero here. Welcome back to the Steel Monotype run of EV Emerald. Last time, well, we got a lot done. We got the 7th badge and dive, we resolved the hostage crisis, completed the prep work, we needed to get Registeel. This time, well, hopefully, we're gonna catch it. Oh right, because I put Striper in the daycare. Um, yeah, the daycare couple must have gotten rid of... Yep, they got rid of Surf. Yeah, sometimes it'll just randomly delete your HMs. It's basically the only way to get rid of them, other than taking them to the move deleter. Anyways, moving on. Now, let's, use, let's pop these repels real quick. Now, there's a bunch of items and stuff on these routes that we'll come back and get later, but... Actually, yeah, we'll get we'll get this one real quick. I think this is either some kind of vitamin or it's a rare candy. Yes, I am very overleveled, because I spent a little while shiny hunting to try and find a Magnemite or Magneton. Didn't happen, but eh. I would need to grind anyway, later on. People on Discord don't get the hint when I tell them I'm recording, don't message me! We're going to swap you out real quick. And the reward for efforts were, well, one rare candy. Okay, worth it. Heading further south, we've reached the area where the Seafloor Cavern is. We'll be back here later. We need to keep going further south. Alright. We can battle all these trainers later off camera. None of them are especially interesting. Never mind. That that was dumb of me. I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. This guy won't take very long. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Keep moving. Oh, fuck off! 
As I'd said in multiple episodes, the late game routes have so many fucking trainers on them and they just drag on and on and on. That's my main complaint with Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. It's just how much of a slog the late game is. It's not fun. Yeah, Oops is right. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna skip ahead till we get to Pacific Lodge Town. FUCK OFF! And we made it! So... A couple things we can do here. First of all... We can get ourselves TMs for either frustration or return here, and I believe you could do this repeatedly. Frustration isn't really worth it. You really have to try, one, to get it, and two, to use it. But that's not the important thing. You, there's also an in-game trade here, and there's a guy who can tell you Barrage Island shows up, but the odds of that happening are very, very low. I've only ever had it happen once. Anyway, the important thing is we need to go and get ourselves a couple of Pokémon out of here. And those are going to be Relicanth. And Waylord. We'll just leave these guys here for now. Now we're also going to need Striper here because there's another step to this. And that is we need to teach a Pokemon Dig. Now, if you've already used the TM for Dig at this point, it's not that big of a deal, because there are a couple of Pokémon that learn it by level up. They just take a while to get it. Those are Ninkata and Trap Hinch. Ninkata learns it at level 45, and Trap Hinch learns it at level 41. Yes, it's as annoying as it sounds. So you go due west, and you'll notice the, there's fast-moving currents here. Let's see, is the Super Repel still working? Oh, yes. Okay. You want to stick largely to the south? And there is a very specific path you want to take in order to reach the sealed chamber. This is why I would recommend either just save scumming to make sure you go the right way, or you bring a Pokemon that can fly, because if you miss it, you have to go through it all over again. And to get all the items on this route, you actually do need to go through it multiple times. We're not going to do that this episode. Also, this guy is a full team of really weak Pokémon. We're just going to speed up. Stop wasting my time, asshole. Anyway, moving on. There's a lot of trainers here. Now, we are, I'm going to set a save state here just for convenience's sake, because, again, I'm recording this. And you want to go... Nope, wrong way. Alright, fuck this. Nope! Okay, give me a sec. Okay, yeah, you did want to go low. I was thinking of a different dark spot in the water. You gotta keep going further. Alright, stop wasting my time, assholes. I want to get- I want to finish this episode with catching Registeel. 
Okay, so... Back survive? Good. Alright, this is the part where I'm gonna need to save you save states. Because if I miss this, then uh yeah. It's gonna be annoying. So close. There we go. This is where you wanna die. So we swim down here. And then there's... I heard it called Braille or Bry. I don't... whatever. But this tells you just go up here. So right in front of this text, that takes you up into the sealed chamber. And this right here, if you're wondering, is a translation key. If you don't know Braille or Bry, this just tells you what the alphabet is in it. This tells you to use Dig right here. Now, at this point, I think you need to have Waylord in the front of your party and Relicant at the last slot. In Ruby and Sapphire, it's the other way around. You go up here. You read this. And if you have those Pokemon in the right positions in your party... There you go. It's unlocked. And now we're back here at the Pokemon Center in Fortree City. Because we need to get a couple of different Pokemon. Well, first, we got to get my team back together. But that's only part of it. You also need a Pokemon with Flash. So I'm going to get a little more use out of Boo, then. <clears throat> Anyways, going to close this out, and we will skip ahead right here. On the way, we'll kick these guys' asses again. I believe this is the strongest they ever get. I don't think they ever go above this level-wise. Also, by the way, that Exploud is under-leveled. It doesn't evolve until level 40 if you get one. Take that, journalists! And now as we approach the ancient tomb, you'll see that the door is open now. <clears throat> now this basically just tells you to go to the middle of the room and use Flash. In Ruby and Sapphire, you use Fly. And there's Registeel. Yeah, when you speed up a lot, it tends to really run up your in-game time. Okay, here we go. Of course, I can't actually lower its stats because it has clear body.
But that's not the point. The point is to slowly chip away at its health. Alright, that's good. Alright, now time to spam Ultra Balls. Got it! Third try! Now, what to call you? Alright, we'll call you Proto Mech after the Fear Factory song. So here's Protomech the Registeel. This'll be the fifth member of the team, and, uh, well, maybe the last one. I might add a sixth Pokemon later on, we'll see. Maybe a Magnemite, just so I have another special attacker. This one I'm gonna train it to be a mixed physical and special attacker, although the only special attacks it can learn are electric ones. Still, better than nothing. Anyways, um, if you like what you see, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page. Next time, we're going to be resolving the crisis with Team Aqua. So, I'll see you all next time.